so this video is going to be all about the bubble frame app which is a very cool app and basically you can have a mini scrapbook layout in a photo form um, you can either print these photos once you're done or you can throw them into the project life app so I'm just gonna um, briefly go over the app the app also has a little tutorial on it so if you download the app and you tap on info you're gonna see it has a little tutorial video if I found that even with the tutorial video the app has so much that it can do that it does take some getting used to so I'm just gonna walk you through how to create um, something with the bubble frame so I'm gonna tap on new project and you can see there's all these um, different aspects so the first thing you have to do is you have to choose your aspect and I'm gonna go ahead and tap on four to three which will give me a four by six so here you can see these are the different layout types and then there's extra layouts that are locked which I have not purchased okay so there's tons um, you know I don't even you have to buy layouts pack so you get a hundred and two extra layouts and I'm not buying a layouts pack because I already paid for the actual bubble frame app so I'm just gonna quickly like I said walk you through so I'm gonna choose this one and now you can see fill canvas so I'm gonna tap here and it brings me to pics I can tap on my pics I can add a photo I can paste I can add a video I can tap on colors I can pick any color here okay I can tap on recent I can tap on patterns I can throw a pattern on this and then I can tap on archive so let's go ahead and pick a photo so it brings me to my photos and yes I am well aware that this is not safe nor is it something that we do often but the cooler happened to be out from after the 4th of July and he was well supervised um, doing this so we're going to tap there and then I'm I think I'm gonna change that one I'm gonna click on one more I'm gonna find one more photo here and I think this one and I did not mean to This one we're going to change so you can see since I already added it um, the only option I have is bubble style circle text or fill bubble so we're gonna go back to fill bubble and we're gonna go back to photos and I am going to change it to which one I have that one and we'll go with this one Perfect. And then I'm going to click on show grid since I did move this photo and all right. So we're done there. Dismiss. And we can fill the canvas. So now we can come over here and you can see I can change the background. And I kind of like that. I think I'm going to keep that but I will briefly scroll through these are the background um, patterns that are available and yes I am going to keep that linen looking background now I kind of want to and I think I have to um, That makes that bigger. Just shape. I don't want to change the shape. And that was my little one, real quick. Having a little, a little dream. So we're gonna dismiss that, and then. 
So I can add my text, move it over a tad, and then we're going to choose a font. And there's tons of fonts in here, and you can also add your own fonts to um, the app. And I don't think I want too bold of a font. I might even go I'm not sure what I want. No. I think I like that one. I'm going to go with that one. So you can see here install fonts and that's for a another tutorial and then size I'm gonna make this a tad smaller I don't need it so big and then style so I can do an outline I can do a shadow okay and then all you do is save save that save image and that's saved. Then I can come over here to my project life. Okay. So here we go. And I have another photo that I recently did. So tap on all photos. There's that in the cooler. And then I also have this one that I recently did. And what else I have. Let's pick a journal card. I'm going to go with this one. Pick another photo. I'm going to go with this one. Pick a photo and a journal card and let's look for a photo. Kitty cat. Kitty cat photo. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and journal on this and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and you can see I went ahead and changed that journaling card, uh, filler card to match with this filler card here. I'm also, as you know, going to change the background and I think I'm actually going to stick with um, this light pink or maybe this light blue. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna go with pink just because I haven't done it before. So you can see here, I have never mentioned before that when you change your kit, um, you get different colors for your backgrounds to choose from. So I choose the desktop edition so I get the regular colors here plus the colors that come with the desktop edition. I'm going to go ahead and export this to 12 by 12 and I'm going to save my image. So that's it for the bubble frame app and how easy it is to go ahead and then incorporate those little collages into your project life apps.